Please write down, sir. Ten straight lines. Ten straight lines. Many of the SSC bank and CAC students write in case if you are a bank and an SSC student. If you are listening to the class for the first time, there are other students from multiple states who are waking up at morning 6.15, attending the class. Already DI6 classes are over. They are learning every time. When you are solving traditional methods, they are learning all shortcuts. No two of which are parallel and no three of which passes through which passes through toughest cat question made easy passes through any common point passes through any common point any common point there is a way to prepare please prepare or drawn on a plane or drawn on a plane number of number of number of regions number of regions finite or infinite number of regions finite or infinite tough question right in fact the student who is preparing for cat he has asked this question because it is lifted from iift right then straight lines no two of which are parallel and no three of which passes through any common point right drawn on a plane drawn on a plane right number of regions next solution solution anil nayar's way of solving no formulas i don't like formulas if you like formulas please like writing the exam five times three right i hope it is clear now one straight line if i take one straight line how many regions i got just common sense approach one straight line one straight line i got two regions one straight line i got two regions two straight lines if i take two straight lines if i take none of them should be parallel so two straight lines if i take two straight lines if i take i got total four regions i got total four regions suppose i need to take three three none of them should be parallel right so how many regions i got 1 2 3 4 finite or infinite 6 7 6 7 so 3 straight lines Three straight lines. How many regions I got? Seven regions. Just through simple observation, I am getting the answer. One straight line, two regions. Two straight line, four regions. Three straight line, seven regions. See here. One is two. Next it is four. Next it is seven. It is increased by two. It is increased by three. It is increased by four. So it is eleven. Which how many straight lines we require? Ten straight lines. So it is plus five. It is plus six. It is plus seven. It is plus eight. Plus nine. Plus ten. Plus eleven. Finish answer. Eleven plus five sixteen. It is twenty two. Twenty nine. Thirty seven. Forty six. Right. Fifty six. Ten straight lines. Right. So these for the two, three, four, five. So tenth straight line. What is the answer for the question? Fifty-six. No usage of any formula. Just simple reading the question. Simple reading the question, you got the answer. Simple reading the question, you got the answer. Right? Simple reading the question, you got the answer. So this is for the one straight line. Simple reading the question, you got the answer. One straight line, second straight line, third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, seventh one, eighth one, ninth one, tenth one, tenth one. How much time it takes to solve, sir? How much time it takes to solve? Please tell me, sir. Right? Question eight. Very very simple. Absolutely very very easy way. If you understand the question, if you understand it, everything is easy. The problem is we do not read the question. right we are somewhere carried away by our 
school 100 out of 100 or plus 2 marks and we think that you are we are good in maths you are good in maths for that school studies in competitive examination right the way you look at a question should change the way you solve should change because it is an state wide examination and the kind of questions that are asked are very very easy right but they are little tricky they are little tricky if you do not understand if you do not understand the basic root cause of the problem you will be in a big trouble you will be in a big trouble write down next question question number 9 i was looking at the old ssc bank papers i found the questions are so so stupid that each and every question 20 to 30 seconds it takes and the students are saying in the forums that they are all very very difficult it is a difficult paper actually it is a very very easy paper point 369 369 369 m is nothing but point 531 531 531 and so on and c1 right i hope it is clear right 369 369 369 531 531 531 right 1 by n plus 1 by m 1 by n plus 1 by m options original question triple 1 double 0 divided by 2419 this is nothing but triple 1 divided by 100 this is nothing but 1897 divided by 3162 i am just writing as it is from the ssc previous year paper it is nothing but triple 1 double 0 this is the question right many students many students said it is a very difficult question very difficult question but actually but actually right according to me this question will not take more than 10 seconds more than 10 seconds right i hope it is clear all these are eliminated because 1 by n 1 by n is nothing but 1 by 0.531 bar it is closer to 1.5 it is closer to 2 0.531 is just greater than 4.5 answer is just greater than 2 answer is just greater than 2 first option first option it is an original ssc question answer is just greater than 2 answer is just greater than 2 answer is just greater than 2 point 369 369 so they think that it is a recurring decimal you have to use a recurring decimal concept by using approximation easily you can solve the question very very easily you can solve the question if you know how to use a recurring right recurring decimal 0 0.531 bar 0 0.531 0 0.531 is just closer to 0 0.5 0 0.5 is 1 by 2 1 by 1 by 2 is 2 so 2 plus something answer should be greater than 2 right it is 1 point something it is a numerator is less than denominator numerator is less than denominator i hope it is clear i hope right i hope it is clear right idea clear is it clear are you all with me are you all with me i hope the idea is clear scintillating concepts first time itself you need to clear the exam first time itself you need to sit in iams first time itself you should crack it this is not write a repetition repetition of if you are keep on writing the competitive exam one time twice that only indicates that in the first time you did not get proper preparation or you are not self motivated or you do not have the burning desire to make it begin life or you have taken it as a one of the priorities not the highest priority in your life highest priority in your life i hope it is clear right sir idea clear idea clear shall we go to the next question shall we go to the next question are you all with me kindly reply in case if you want me to go to the next question 
every class we are discussing so many concepts so many concepts we are discussing by listening to every concept question by question question by question you can solve it recurring decimals please do not conclude it very fast recurring decimals recurring decimals please make a note digital sum is not applied for the digital sum is not applied for the recurring decimal be very very careful Download our revolutionary app for free AMC.